Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clear the airbag light on your 90s Honda or Acura. Before I get started, I just wanna mention that this Acura Integra that I put this NRG steering wheel kit on was kind of annoying. You know, like swapping the steering wheel was super, super easy. It was way easier than it was on my Xterra and way easier than it was on my Ford Ranger. And it was kind of misleading. I figured, wow, I'm gonna get this done in like 10 minutes because the wheel comes right off. But getting the wiring to work so that the airbag light doesn't blink at you was a little bit more involved. You know, I played around with it for like two hours before I realized that there's an extra step. Like most cars, the first thing you need to do to bypass the airbag light is to set a resistor in between the two airbag wires so that it tricks the car into thinking that the airbag is still there. This is the resistor that NRG usually supplies with the hub adapter so that you can bypass the airbag. I typically like to use these instead. They're a lot smaller and they take up a little bit less space. On my Ford Ranger, that was all that was required. I just put the resistor in and then turned the car back on and the light went away. On the exterior, it was a little bit more involved. You put the resistor in between the wires and then they had this funky like sequence. They had to turn the key on and off, take the key out and whatever, but that wasn't too bad. On the Integra though, I literally had to pull apart almost all of the lower trim pieces on the driver's side just to get to this little doohickey connector thing so that I could do this little song and dance thing to make the light go away. So here's how you do it. First, pull off the fuse cover. Then you're gonna remove this plastic coin holder thing. I think it's for coins. It's got the little divots in there for coins. You're gonna pull this off and don't be shy. It, it feels like it's gonna break, but if you do it gently enough, it just pops right out. You just gotta turn it to an angle and pull it straight out. Next, you're gonna remove the three screws that hold on the plastic kick panel. There's one here, one here behind where the storage thingy was, and then one over here. Gently pull off the plastic kick panel. If you have a cool 90s alarm system, there might be a module stuck to the back of it. My 96 Mazda had this too. Next, you're gonna unbolt the metal kick panel. And then it's time to locate the SRS diagnostic doohickey. On most cars, you can easily find the airbag wiring because it's either got a yellow connector, yellow shrink wrap, yellow labeling, but just look for yellow wires. This is the one that you want. You can tell that you found the right connector because the connector isn't actually plugged into anything. The space it's plugged into is blank. It's really just a holder. When I was looking through YouTube on how to do this SRS reset, I found a couple methods. I found one guy that did it with a paperclip, but I found this to be a little bit clunky. I couldn't get the two ends plugged into the connector fast enough. It was kind of stressful. I, I just didn't feel like I could get things set up fast enough. Using two scraps of wire was a little bit easier. But do what makes you happy. Start with the ignition off. Touch and hold the two wires together or insert the paper clip. Turn the key, but don't start the car. The SRS light will come on and then turn off. As soon as the light turns off, disconnect the wires or pull the paper clip. When the light comes back on, touch and hold the wires together again or reinsert the paper clip. When the light turns off, disconnect the wires or pull the paper clip. The SRS light will blink twice to confirm you've reset the SRS system. Turn the key on again. And voila, SRS light goes away. Next, you can put all the interior back on or leave it off, hashtag race car. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, hit the notify button so you know when I put up new stuff. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.